everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So first things first, if I look and sound like crap, that's because I feel like crap. <laughs> Basically, if you follow me on Snapchat, you would have seen that I've been quite ill last week when this video goes live. So I'm, I'm kind of recovered, I'm a little bit snotty still, I sound a little bit like a man, but I'm getting there and I'm sat here filming a video so I must be on the mend because I literally just festered on the sofa for the last few days. <laughs> but whilst I was unwell, I was spending a lot of time on my computer and I was spending a lot of time watching YouTube videos and being on social media and actually just taking some time to like chill and just relax. <laughs> I do that a lot to be honest um, and it felt quite good, I'm not gonna lie, I even watched Loose Women at one point which was okay. <laughs> Don't tell me when I said that. But I was on Twitter and I saw Chloe Morello who is a YouTuber which I'm sure you already know, she's from Australia and she was basically defending herself and just being like I did order these products and pay for them myself. Um, here's the receipts because she'd obviously done a video and it was a haul of like beauty stuff and people had accused her of being sponsored. Um, which Assumption people, assumption. But basically all I could see was that this girl had gone to town on net -a -a beauty. Like she literally spent so much money and just got so many cool different bits and I was like, huh, I've never actually done a beauty haul from net -a -a. So obviously I was naturally drawn to the beauty pages of net -a -a and I decided to put in a little order and just kind of try out some beauty products that I'd never actually tried before. And, um, and also introduce you guys possibly to net -a -a Beauty because when I snapped about it on Snapchat there seemed to be quite a few of you that didn't actually know that net -a -a did beauty now so I'm, I'm sure there will be people being like Lydia this is old news but I thought that possibly I might introduce a few people and if I do then that's a good thing I guess but I have definitely ram- ooh <laughs> But I have definitely rambled on enough for the start of this video, so I'm going to start unpacking all of these bits and showing you what I decided to take the plunge with for this net -a -a high-end, expensive, ridiculous beauty haul. <laughs> okay, so this is the big box that it came in, and as you can see, it's huge because it did have a pair of shoes in it. So that's why it's that big, but it's actually still really heavy and it doesn't have, um, the shoes in it anymore, so let's get inside. Okay, so I haven't actually touched anything other than like the receipts and I, I keep spinning around. <laughs> so I haven't touched these bags. I, all I've done is taken out the receipts and put them in my folders and stuff like that and taken the boots out, but I have not opened these bags. So first impressions, the beauty products come in like sandwich bags. <laughs> But obviously these are no ordinary sandwich bags. These are net -a -a Beauty bags. But let's have a look in this bag to start off with because I know that these are all from the same brand. So yeah, let's have a look in this one. So first up, I bought the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. Now everyone lost their mind. I must have got like a thousand, two thousand snaps about these concealers. You've never tried the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. Where have you been? So I thought it was about time that it was in my makeup bag, but I didn't know what colour to get. So I got the two that basically everyone said, I think there was one person that said a different one, but basically everyone else said either vanilla or, what's this one? Or custard. So I bought both and I thought I'll try them both out and see which one suits my skin tone better or maybe I'll have use for both of them. And for these on net -a -a, I paid £23 each. So yeah, it's an expensive concealer I would say. But from the general consensus that I got on Snapchat was like this is the best concealer ever. So I'm excited to see how this comes out. Now obviously I've never tried these so I'd like to give you a little bit of a first impression. So throughout the week I've been trying out these products and now I'm going to be telling you how I got on with them. So let's get into the cutaways. So I'm going to start with custard under my right eye. Okay wow so yeah it's very like it's got great coverage. So this colour I would probably say is the right colour for underneath my eyes. In fact, I would say that when you put it on it looks quite dark, but actually when you blend it, it's the right kind of brightness that I would go for. It's a much more natural brightness rather than quite white and bright that sometimes I tend to go for. So yeah, I actually really like custard and I didn't think I was going to. I, I thought I was gonna look at this and think it's nice, but it's too dark. The coverage is beautiful and it is radiant and it is creamy and it looks really nice. So 
I am very happy with this and I feel like it does live up to the hype so far. Then I'm gonna go in with vanilla under my left eye. Okay, so this is much brighter and this is probably what I would think that I would normally want to have in terms of color. I would probably think that I want it to be this bright, but now seeing how custard is, I actually think that custard is much better suited and looks a lot better and a lot more natural as well. So I think I'm just gonna quickly go over this eye with custard and I think that custard will be the one that I repeat purchase. But overall, the finish is beautiful. It does look really nice under the eye. It's very comfortable and it's not drying as yet. So. I am actually very, very happy with this purchase and I would repeat purchase it, definitely. And next up in this bag, I have the By Terry Imperlius Voile, oh my God, my French. By Terry Imperlius Voile de Pearl and it is a premium highlighter compact. Now, people who have followed me for a while will know that I swear by the By Terry Sun Designer Palette in light and tan vibes, I think it's called, and I just literally used the highlighter in it. So I said to the people at By Terry when I was with them not long ago, I was like, oh, I need a highlighter, like just on its own. And they did tell me that there might be something planned, but I found this on net porte so I thought I'll give this a go. It comes in rose gold packaging, and it also has this beautiful little design here on the front of it. Oh my god! And when you open it up, oh wow! So it's got like three different colours. It's got a really light colour, and then a sort of more goldeny colour, and then it's got like the highlight colour, I'm guessing? Just try these out on my hand. It looks quite powdery from the offset. This doesn't look like a proper highlighter. It's not like the highlight in their Sun Designer palette, so it will be interesting to see what this is like on my skin. Now this was £46, so it is a much more higher price point product. That's generally the theme when it comes to buy Terry products. It is usually going to be a bit of a game changer and it's going to be incredibly good, but we're going to have to see what this is like on my face. This is really reflective and I can keep... Ooh. <laughs> But yeah, so let's have a look in the cutaways how I got on with it with my first impressions. On my hand, it looks like this is more of an all over powder to set your foundation but also give it a bit more of a glow. Kind of like the ambient light palette from um, Hourglass. So a little bit disappointed because I thought it was going to be like a by Terry standard highlight because at the moment I've only got the one that's in my Sun Designer palette. So yeah, a little bit let down, but I'm still interested to see what it looks like on my face and I've not applied any powder just yet, so let's have a look. So I'm just gonna use a pancake brush and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swirl around the product, which is a shame because it is beautifully designed. If you can see that, look how absolutely stunning that is. As usual with By Terry products, there's a lot of product that comes off. Like they are so pigmented and just so soft and buttery when you use them. So you never feel like you have to like work into it. It also smells beautiful as with all By Terry products. They just smell amazing. I'm just gonna set this under my eyes. Yeah, this is definitely similar to the ambient lighting palette. You're probably not going to see much in terms of like difference to my skin but I can feel that my skin is set, but it's still very glowy and still very sort of like dewy, but it's matte. I'd say I prefer this definitely to the ambient lighting palette, but just a little bit let down that it's not a proper sort of strobing highlight. I will definitely use this in terms of a powder because my skin looks radiant. Now I'm looking in there, I'm like, wow, yeah, I'm glowing. This is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Now we're on to the second bag of beauty products and this is all from the same brand and it's a brand that I've actually never tried. So I'm going to be interested to find out whether this brand lives up to the massive hype that surrounds it. So these three items are from Christian Louboutin and you would have seen in my last vlog that I actually bought myself another pair of Christian Louboutin shoes after saying that I never would. But these were the comfiest Christian Louboutin shoes you've ever seen. So if you didn't see that vlog, I have popped it in the description box below and you can go over and see what style of shoes they could possibly make that are comfortable. And I just wanted to know whether they lived up to the hype because there is so much hype around this brand in terms of its beauty and obviously it is incredibly expensive. Each of these items either cost £65 or £60. So let's have a look inside the boxes and see which ones I bought. And this, oh my gosh, wow. So as you can see, this is like, I think one of their lip 
lacquers. Is this one of their lip lacquers? Yes, this is the Christian Louboutin Lip Lacquer in Rouge Louboutin 001L. So this to me is like the signature red that you would find on the sole of Christian Louboutin shoes. Obviously the packaging is to die for and that is part of the fun. Like I always find with beauty products and with shopping for clothes, the packaging is really a big thing and when you're buying like a handbag or something like that you really like to go in and get the carrier bag and the tissue paper and all of that stuff because it really does sort of make the experience and this is obviously beautifully packaged I would have thought that it would have come in maybe not a cardboard box maybe like a proper box in the future but then I dread to think how much that would cost but let's get it out of the um packaging so it comes on this ribbon so I'm guessing that you can if you want wear it around your neck but I no, I can't see myself doing that. Oh wow. I'm gonna smell it again, but I can't smell anything. <laughs> I have just swatched that on my hand and the like intensity of the colour is pretty incredible. Just, I did that so, so lightly. It was literally like I touched it, but. So I guess it's about time that I got into the first impressions of the lip lacquer. So let's have a look and see how I got on. Again, the packaging is beautiful. Oh my gosh. Mm, look at that colour. This is insane. Wow. <laughs> I do not feel that this is an overhyped product at all. This is beautiful. Look at that colour. That is just so vibrant. Perfect for Christmas actually. That is stunning. That's absolutely stunning. Look at that. Got it on the key. I literally, I'm like in utter shock by how good these are. I really did think these were gonna be such a letdown. Okay, so I just started taking this off and I felt like I should show you this process as well because it is so, so easy to just take off. Watch this. There is literally no staining whatsoever and it comes off so easily. You literally just wipe and it comes off in one. That is so impressive. I literally did it and I was like, oh, I've got to show them this. Oh my God, so good, so good. <laughs> Let's see what's in this one. Ooh, okay. This one is in a black, like all black, sort of matte black, chibi thing. <laughs> it's not like the appropriate name, is it? Chibi thing. And this is the Velvet Matte Lip Colour in shade Rouge Le Bouton. So this is the matte version, I believe, of their lip lacquer, hence why it's in the matte packaging. So let's get this one out. And, ooh, oh wow, it comes with little mini dust bags as well. Okay, that's cute, that's cute. Ooh, aha, okay, so this is a lipstick. Wow, that is, that looks so matte that it almost looks fluffy. Wow. I don't even want to swatch it because I don't want to ruin it and I, oh, I've like swatched that so lightly because I don't want to ruin it because I want to photograph them first. So I guess, again, it's time to see what I thought of this in my first impressions. I don't know whether you can see how matte that is, but it just looks kind of like, I don't know, like cashmere. It's just amazing, amazing. I need to shut up about this. They're just incredible. So I'm like a little bit just taken aback, but yeah. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> I just feel like that's all I can say about these lipsticks is wow. So if you're not a lip gloss person, this is perfect if you want that really amazing Christian Louboutin red on your lips. It's so, so comfortable and um, the color payoff is beautiful. But yeah, imagine getting that out on a night out. People would be like, wow, what is that? But yeah, these lipsticks are incredible, absolutely stunning. I can't say that they're worth 65 pounds because I just don't feel that a lipstick is ever worth 65 pounds. But if you are a fan of Christina Bouton and if you have wanted this shade from the soles of their shoes on your lips or that beautiful nude colour, then I guess, why not? They're very, very special. You feel very luxurious when, <laughs> when you wear them and when you pull them out of your bag. So they're a nice touch. Perfect little Christmas gift um, for the girlfriend or for your best friend or something like that. So yeah, I love this. But other than that, I am obsessed with all of these so far and I actually would really like to try more from the Christian Louboutin collection, so maybe I'll do that. <laughs> and then the final item in this net -a -a beauty haul. It's actually dark outside now. I've been talking for a while. So this one comes in a black box, but it has a gold trim and it says that this is 
the Velvet Matte Lip Colour in Just Nothing 705. And this comes in, wow, that's really pretty, in like a full gold packaging. I don't think they'd photograph these the same on the website. Okay, so obviously I bought the classic red from Christian Louboutin and this is his nude. So this is a matte nude and it looks stunning. I can't get, oh, it's just so pretty. Oh wow. I'm just having a moment with this. Because <laughs> basically the only lip colours that I ever wear is either red or nude. So I couldn't not get the Christian Louboutin nude and it's it's just beautiful. Like the packaging is where you're probably spending most of your money but it's just beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I need to stop saying beautiful but they are, they are beautiful. But this haul is all about finding out whether these products are worth spending this amount of money on so for the last time, let's see how I got on with the nude from the Christian Louboutin collection. Oh my gosh, look how perfect that is. But here goes. Wow. The texture is insane. Oh my gosh. Like you look at it and it honestly looks like so matte. It's unbelievable, but you put it on and it's like silk going on your lips. Wow, I love this. So it's kind of very similar to MAC Stripped Down, actually. This is almost like a lipstick version of MAC Stripped Down. <laughs> um, and it's beautiful. It's so, so comfortable on my lips and it's got a slight something to it that makes it matte but hydrating and I just can't believe how amazing it feels on your lips. Like when you put it on, it is just like smooth as silk. On a cost per wear basis, then yeah, maybe it is worth it, but it's beautiful, really, really beautiful. But that's it, that's it for this first impressions, net a -porte, beauty unboxing mashup of a video. I swear I just like throw in a bit of everything with my videos nowadays and just hope for the best. <laughs> But I hope that you liked this video. I am slightly wishing that I'd blown my nose before I started filming, so I'm really sorry about that. But if you did still like it despite the bunged upness, please do let me know in the comments below and please do give it a thumbs up as well. If you aren't already subscribed, please do it down below. I would love to see you back here for more videos. I do two videos a week and at the moment I just kind of make videos that I like and I hope that you like them too. So I hope to see you back here. So yeah, hopefully see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.